Welcome to Spargo BI 5.2 Social Analysis class where we will be looking at how to use Spargo BI and uh, R. So what do you want to achieve in this uh, video or in this class? Uh, number one, we want to see how to analyze the Twitter feed of a news network using Spargo BI 5.2 and R. And uh, if you are using our loganalyst.com or if you have purchased uh, our modified Spargo BI, just log in so that we can start with the course. So we'll go to loganalyst.com, log in as BI admin user. So once you've logged in as BI admin user, click on social analysis, all right, so that we can uh, uh, see some examples. So we have said that the first example we want to show you is how to analyze the news feed of a news network. So this is KTN. So just click on under analysis, click on that icon there for analysis. So you've seen that uh, what we are looking at here, so we had analyzed this before, so I'm just showing you the results that we want to achieve. So we are going to do the same thing in this, uh, in this particular class. So uh, you can see that in this example, we have uh, 3848 uh, tweets. We have also 31 or 2 uh, users on that particular feed. And then this is the amount of reach that we have. And uh, also we have this number of impressions. So if you normally use Twitter, you'll understand these, these, these terms. So what, what we have done is that we are just searching for one day. Uh, we are just searching the, 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 that news handle uh, for that one particular day, which is 27th uh, July. So we can, you can just see the chart there, the number of tweets and the number of retweets. So Spago BI will show you that also. And then it will also show you the tweet summary. Okay, so the percentage of number of tweets, number of retweets, and also your top tweets. So if you are looking at a news, uh, a news feed, uh, that will be important so that you can see what are the top tweets uh, for that particular day. So on this day, majorly it was about South Sudan and the war that is happening in South Sudan. That is what was being reported. So you can see that most of these tweets uh, are being uh, done by the UN uh, UN staff. They're complaining about the uh, atrocities that are going on. So the tweet sources also you can see, you can see since this is from Africa, mostly the, the highest percentage is from Android. And then you can also see the recent tweets that, uh, that have come from that particular uh, feed. So we are done with the summary tab. So if you look at the topics tab, uh, tab you'll, uh, you'll have a hashtag cloud. Okay. So as I've said again, uh, uh, what is in the news right now is about South Sudan as we were analyzing this particular feed. So we have your hash, hash cloud and topics cloud. Again, you'll see that uh, mostly it's about South Sudan uh, and the, what, what the soldiers are doing there. And then we go to the network tab. If you go to your network tab also, uh, it's going to show you uh, the top influencers. So Spark BI is very, very, very good. So that in any particular uh, Twitter feed, you can always see who are the, the most influencers in that particular uh, uh, feed. Okay, so you can see that we also have a lie there. He's a very famous uh, blogger in, in, in our country. Uh, so all these are the, the people who are doing uh, the most influencing in that particular feed. And then also, of course, we have the user mentions. Okay, other, other, other handles there, Al Jazeera ETC. And then the most important one also, you have user interactions graph. So this just shows you how uh, users in that particular um, Twitter feed are uh, interacting with uh, each other, all right? So you can see that who is the, uh, who is, uh, the, the topmost influencer because uh, all the people are connected to him, okay? So as I had said, uh, this famous blogger from our country, you can see that uh, so many other people are uh, connecting uh, to him. So if you want to see how users are interacting, you can also get that from Spargo BI. Another important thing that Spargo BI will show you is the user interactions map. So where are these feeds coming from? Uh, how are they interacting with other countries? So you can see that some from US, from the US, some from Kenya, uh, etc. So if we go to the distribution tab, so you're going to distribution tab again. You can see uh, the countries where those uh, uh, Twitter feeds are coming from, uh, from Kenya. So South Sudan also because uh, this, this mostly the news is about South Sudan, as I've said. And then the most important one again is sentiment analysis. This will uh, surprise you. You see that 59.8% uh, is negative. This is expected because this is a news channel. 
and you know news is mostly negative so it will surprise you that uh, it's really really very very negative so the sentiment rather there here you can just see the most negative words uh, and uh, they have been displayed there so this is done by the topic analysis we are going to see how it's done so if you want to look at your sentiment rather in a particular uh, feed to Twitter feed, yeah, Spago BI will do that for you also. So you can just see these words and how uh, how negative and positive they are. So of course you have your positive topics, your neutral topics, and your negative topics uh, also displayed there, right? So that's one thing that we have done. Uh, so the first thing that we will do is to analyze a news channel as we have done. Then number two, the second thing that we want to achieve at the end of this uh, class is to analyze a Christian uh, a Christian ministry. We are just doing different things so that we can see how Spago BI handles your, 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 the, the tweet polarity. So we are guessing that uh, we are looking at Bishop Jake's, uh, Bishop Jake's uh, Twitter feed. So just click on analyze. Again, if you are in loganalyst.com, click on analyze so that we see. Again, as we had uh, discussed, you have all those various uh, things in your summary tab. So this is just the same as what we had seen in uh, the KTN news. Uh, the top tweets, of course, is about God and love because uh, this is a uh, this is a Christian ministry. But what I just want to show you the difference is that now you see that iPhone is the topmost Twitter source because this is from the US. So in the US, uh, it's different. You saw that for KTN, which is in Africa. Uh, the source, the topmost source was Android. Okay, so we are much more interested in sentiment analysis. So you can see that now for Bishop Jakes, the, the polarity, the positive uh, polarity is 64% as compared to the news network, which was uh, very low. So you can see that uh, Spago Bear is handling very well the, the sentiment analysis. Then number three, we'll also analyze a politician's uh, Twitter handle so that we also see how Spago Bear is going to handle it. So again, just go to loganalyst.com, login is with the username BI admin, password BI admin, then uh, go again to social analysis. Okay, so uh, we were also analyzing uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, Twitter feed. So just click on analyze so that we see the difference. So the hashtag there, of course, uh, you can guess what will be there. Mostly it will be Hillary, Obama. Uh, convention and all this uh, 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 what's what's the what's happening right now in that uh, in the US so again if you look at uh, your network same same things that we had done but much what we are really interested in is your is, is in the sentiment analysis because we want to see if Spago BI is handling it well so you have seen that in the first place in the KTN news network it's very negative because news is normally negative anyway, so it has handled that well. On the case of uh, T.D. Jakes, who is a Christian bishop, it's uh, really positive. So I think it, we can say that it has handled it well. So now let's see how uh, it will handle it for Donald Trump. We can guess that it should be negative, but let's just see how negative it will uh, it will be. All right? Let's just see how negative it will be. So on the tweet summary again, since this is the, the US, you see that the iPhone uh, is the most under the top tweet top tweets for this you can see that some there's really some very mean tweets about uh, about Hillary and about uh, Donald okay so this is expected because uh, you know in a campaign normally people throw uh, some very negative words so we just want to see if uh, Spago BI is going to handle it uh, as we expect all right. So as I've said, uh, this is America. So it's iPhone is the topmost source of your your your, your tweet. Okay. Uh, we also have some Android, but uh, it's not as much as uh, as your iPhone. Then you can also see your recent uh, tweets. So just the way it was for KTN News uh, Network. So let's look at the topics. Under topics again, we have the hash cloud. So we we expect Spark BI to show us things that are relevant for that particular uh, Twitter feed. So you can see that uh, on your hash cloud, uh, uh, it's uh, majorly about Obama, majorly about uh, Hillary, etc. And then also we want to see the top influencers in that particular uh, feed. We want to see if Spark BI is intelligent enough to give us things that are uh, relevant. 
So if you go to uh, loganalysis.com, just go through each and see if it uh, gives you information that is uh, relevant. So under user mentions, of course, uh, we expect uh, uh, CNN to be there, Hillary Clinton to be there, Mike Pence to be there for obvious reasons. So this will, these are the top most uh, mentions. Okay, and then also we just want to have a look at the Okay, if you, if you look at my, uh, Mike Pence, I think uh, we, we all know why it's it's, it's a topmost mention. Of course, Hillary is, is the is also a topmost mention. So under user interactions graph, also uh, you can see uh, how the users interact, and uh, we expect again Spago BI to be intelligent enough to show us uh, uh, the relevant information. All right. So just go through each one by one from loganalyst.com so that you understand uh, how Spago BI is getting this data okay so we have not uh, I had not finished for the user interactions map but uh, you can do it from loganalyst.com so let's look at the distribution for Donald Trump so you can see that the mostly the tweets come from the US so you can see it's the one that is uh, blue so we expect that but the most important thing we wanted to check is the sentiment analysis of course, we expected it to be negative. So you can see that the tweets polarity there, uh, negative is 53.3%. Uh, so I think uh, we can say that Spago BI is handling it well because we have uh, looked at three examples and uh, it is as we expected. All right. So now let's get on with the lesson. So let's go to lesson one now and start, uh, start the class. So what do we need to do uh, in step one? Go to learn.spagobi.com. And then scroll down, scroll down and download these files that we will require for this course. Under lesson 14, click on Spago BI Social Analysis and then log in with your uh, username and your password. Okay, so once you log in, go to social analysis resources. Now download each of these files. We have the sentiment analysis twitter db.r. So this is an R file that we are going to use to, to, to generate those sentiment analysis. Alright, and th then uh, social analysis steps.txt. This is a text file that is going to help us uh, follow through step by step. Okay, so these uh, these two files, the, the RDA files, they contain the words themselves that uh, Spago BI is going to use to to rate each particular uh, Twitter tw Twitter feed, uh, whether it is negative or it is positive. Okay, so now once you've downloaded, just open Social Analysis Steps .txt. Okay, so you can see there in step one, you need to download the files which we have already done under step one. Then you also need to install Spago BI 5.2, but do it on MySQL. Don't use HSQLDB, use MySQL. If you don't know how to install Spago BI on MySQL, I had already done a video previously and I put the URL there. Okay, so on that file, just copy paste it. If you don't know how to do it in MySQL, it will explain to you how to install Spago BI 5.2 with MySQL, Tomcat, and Java. So we are not going to redo that because uh, we had already done a video previously okay so if you don't understand how to do it with the MySQL just do it go to that video it will explain then number two once you've installed Spago BI 5.2 uh, download and deploy Spago BI data mining engine and social analysis engine if you don't know how to do this again there's a video that we had done for uh, deploying engines in uh, Spago BI 5.2 okay so You'll just uh, copy it and then paste it on uh, your URL and uh, look at that video first if you don't understand how to deploy uh, Spago BI engines. So again, I'll just show you there uh, which video that is. So there's the video of Spago BI 5.2 and Mobile BI. So we had used Mobile BI as an example of how to deploy an engine, but the steps are similar. Okay, so. You can, all, you can also, in step one, you can also use the all-in-one Spago BI 5.2 and then just modify it to use uh, MySQL. The reason why we are using MySQL is that the script that we are using for, for R 
have been uh, set up to use MySQL to store uh, the Twitter uh, data. Okay, so that is what you need to do in step one. So once you are done with step two, with step one, let's move to step two. Let's move to step two. In step two, we need to create uh, an application in Twitter because remember Spago BI will need to connect to Twitter and for it to connect, you need to, to generate some keys from Twitter. And for you to generate some keys in Twitter, you will need to create an application in Twitter. So you go to apps.twitter.com, then click on create new app. If you don't already have an app in Twitter, just create a new app. So once you've created a new app, then copy the consumer key and consumer key secret from uh, from your application. So I've, I've displayed this, the screen there. I've just deleted them because I don't want uh, to display my keys publicly. But you need to copy the consumer key or the API key and then consumer secret key. Once you've copied them, uh, put them somewhere in Notepad because we are going to use them. Then scroll down and copy the access token and access secret token. Okay, so if you just scroll down on the same page where you are doing your, you are getting your consumer key, you will get those uh, token. Then those, uh, that information that you've taken from Twitter, we need to put it in Twitter for j.properties file. So I've displayed there uh, where each of the information is supposed to go. So once you're done with that, we are almost through with the Spago BI and social analysis. It's really very simple. Okay, so let's go to step number three. Go to step number three. Now in step number three, uh, we need to go to a classes folder. I'll just explain again what we have done in step number two, but now in more, more details. Then open Twitter for j.properties. Go to this path in your Spago BI 5.2 under Spago BI Social Analysis Web by NF classes. There's a file called Twitter4j.properties. So just open it. So we have the Twitter4j.properties file there. Open it. So you can use VI or uh, if you're using Windows, whichever editor that you that you want. Then remember to co uh, the consumer key API that you had copied in step number two, consumer secret API that you had copied from Twitter, access token and access token secret keys. That uh, Those four sets of information, as I had said, we need to put them in the file twitter4j.properties. Okay. So... You need to open this file, as I had said in the previous step, copy that for information there. Then once you are done, we go to step number four now. Now remember, we want to use sentiment analysis and tropic analysis. So for us to do that, we need to install R, which is a language for that will help us to do the sen uh, sentiment analysis and the topic analysis. So since I'm using Ubuntu, it's very simple for me. I'll just say sudo apt get minus y install rbase. So if you're using Ubuntu, you can do the same. Also, if you're using one of our training servers, just do the same because we run Ubuntu on the training servers. If you're using Windows, uh, you can you can you can also install R language in uh, in Windows. So once you've installed R, um, I'm just going to confirm. So just type capital R. This is how you confirm whether your R is working or not. So you can see that uh, it gives me a prompt. Uh, the version of R I'm using is 3.3.1. Okay. So of course R is a free software. And uh, for me to test, you can just use R as a calculator. So I'll just add 1 plus 1. And uh, when you press enter, it gives you the result. So that shows you that R have been installed uh, properly. All right. So we are done with that. Okay, next we need to install the R packages. Okay, so where did I get this list of R <coughs> Sorry. Where did I get this list? I got it from the Spago BI forum. That this user, all-knowing uh, 2012, uh, so I got the list from, from his uh, 
from uh, what he had posted in uh, Spago World. So let's just install the packages one by one, all of them that I've listed them in that file. So we'll start with RJDBC. So I'm just going to, to, to use the first mirror. So I type one. So when you press enter, it's going to install. So we are done with the, that one. So let's go to the second package that we need to install. So again, just copy from uh, from your text file, social analysis steps.txt. So the next package you need to install is reshape2. So again, copy that, paste it in R. Okay, so it will take a, a moment to install. So you can see that if you're using Ubuntu, life is really very, very simple. Because all the packages have been put for you in one place, so you just use up to get to install R, then you install your packages. So that is done. Okay, so the next package you need to install is Topic Models. So just do the same for all these other packages. Make sure all of them have been installed without any error. If you get an error, just Google it and make sure uh, all are successfully installed. All right, so we are done with installing R and setting up packages. Then number five, let's go to step number five. What do we need to do in step number five? So there are the scripts, the R scripts that we downloaded plus the two RDA files. We need to copy them and paste them in this uh, location. Okay. So we need to copy them to BI, uh, Spago BI 5.2 resources, data mining, external. So we put all of them in your external uh, folder. So let me just exit from R. Okay, so I'll just CD, let me just change uh, to Spago BI user, then I'll just CD to the location, to the external location. I'll just show you because I already, I already copied them. So when you go to the external folder, I'll just say less here. I'll just list the, my files. Okay, so you can see that I have uh, topic modeling. We have uh, the RDA files, and then we have the sentiment analysis. So topic modeling, we'll use that for modeling our our topics. You remember that uh, uh, tweet radar that we had shown you. And then we also have our sen uh, sentiment analysis. So we need this R script to do that. Okay, so there are some other files here that I don't need. Okay. Uh, I need, of course, the Tami, Tamini Neg and Tamini Pose. So these files contain a list of words that we, we use them so that we can... Uh, uh, check whether a feed is positive or negative. So I don't need these log files. I had uh, already run sentiment analysis and it generated the logs. So I'll just delete them. I'll just arrange them. Okay. So now make sure you have put those uh, scripts in the external folder. These scripts, I had already modified them at work with my SQL. So you don't need to worry if you are following with our server, you just uh, uh, run them the way they are. Okay, so the sentiment analysis and the topic analysis. So once you've copied the script there, we move to the next step. Uh, and here I'm just going to introduce you uh, very fast to R so that we understand what it does. So if you already know R, you can jump, you can jump this uh, topic So and go to the next topic. So you can see there, these are the libraries that we will need. Okay, so remember this script, all of them are from uh, from the Spago BI team. So there's nothing really that I wrote for myself. Uh, the other code there, those ones I took them from uh, Spago BI forum so that I can run this script manually. I have already shown you uh, who posted that in the Spago BI forum. Okay, so let's go through each uh, each line at a time so that we see what the script does okay so there's this very important function called the apply function 
okay so we it, uh, what what the the, the spago bi guys are doing is that they are using it to clean up your tweet before it can be analyzed okay so you can see that uh, uh, what i'm going to do here i'm going to just download a tweet one single tweet and I'm going to put it in the variable called TMP. So let me just copy this tweet here from NTV Kenya so that I can use it as an example of uh, what that function does for those who don't know R. But I've said if you know R, uh, you don't need it. You can just jump this particular class. Okay, so I'm just going to take that tweet and then I'm going to assign it to the variable uh, TMP. So that's how you assign a, a, a string to a variable in R okay so once you do that okay once you do that let's just start R here okay so we have started R so that we can go through uh, one by one so I'm just going to copy that so you see that I've assigned the, the tweet to the variable then when I say TMP it will give me the value that we have in the variable TMP so that's how you assign values to r and how you display the values in r okay now you can see that the next statement what it does is that it eliminates the at user so if you have any in, in your in your in your tweet anything with at user it will be eliminated by this statement okay so you can see that from the tweet that we just copied there is the at gladys gachange so that's what we want to remove so now if i run this statement sorry the problem there is the x. I need to replace x with the, my current variable, which is TMP. So let me just put TMP. So when I press enter and then I now uh, type TMP, which is the variable, to display the contents, you can see that the at Gladys Gachanja is gone because that's what that statement does. So G sub replace at with, uh, anything with at with, uh, with nothing. Okay. So we have already done that. So that one we have done. Then next we need to eliminate any URL in the in the tweet. So how do you eliminate that? That's what that next statement does. That next statement that is what it does. So it checks for the any statement that uh, begins anywhere that begins with the HTTP something, then it replaces it with the with the null. So again, uh, though we don't have any in our tweet. But uh, we'll just run it. And then now when I type TMP, you see that I don't have that. So next we need to remove this, uh, the hash NTV at one. So that will be the next step. So again, if you go back to your sentiment analysis, you see that eliminate the hashtag. So it's written in Italian, the, the comments. So you see that again, it checks for anything, any word that begins with the hash and then replaces it with the with the with nothing so again we paste that and then now when i type tmp you see that now the hash and tv at one is gone okay hash and tv at one is gone so we have removed anything that has the hash and hash that begins with the hash anything that has uh, begins with the at and then we anything that begins with http so this way this function just cleans up your tweets before they can be analyzed with the with the, with, the, with your Spago BI. So next there you see that uh, also you need to detect any emo emoticon whether it's positive or negative. So that's what this uh, next statement does. So though we don't have any in our tweet, we'll just paste there. So emoticons, these are those uh, faces we normally have in Twitter. Whether it's a smiling face that you can you can use or a, a face that is not smiling. So we also need to detect them because they will also help you to to, to display to, to know when you are calculating whether a tweet was positive and or it was uh, negative. Okay. So now again, let's let's see if we can detect any uh, negative emoticons. So that's what that next statement does. So you can just go through one, one line at a time like that. Everything is commented. Uh, I just wanted to show you how it's done. So at the end of it, it will return that uh, string in a lower case because it's a function. So it will return the string in a lower case. Okay, so uh, let me just run that last one. 
where we are converting the string to lowercase. So So again, if I type TMP, now everything will be in lowercase. Okay, so you can see now everything is in lowercase. The capital M have been changed to small m. So this apply function is very important because it cleans up every tweet before it is fed to, to the, the engine that now does the analysis in uh, Spargo BI. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with that. I just want to show you how to connect to the database or where the database connection is being done. So I've highlighted that line there. You can see inside the database there's a, full, a table called Twitter underscore data. Okay, so we're just selecting everything from that table and assigning it to a variable called whole dataset. Once you've done that, we are going to load these two files, tamini post.rda and tamini neck.rda. So because they are the ones that are going to be used to calculate whether a Twitter feed is uh, positive or it's negative. So let me just exit here from Twitter and show you uh, where they are. So let me clear the screen. So remember they are in the external folder there. So I'm just going to start R again because I want to load them manually in my in my Twitter so that I can show you uh, how they look, how the, that file looks. So if you say in Twitter there is what we call get working directory, it will just show you your current working directory. So this is my current working directory and I am I know that this is where we had pasted the files. So now if I just use the, the Twitter statement load, the name of the file. So let's start with tami, tamini post.rda. So let's just load it in R so and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so we have loaded it. Uh, let's load the other one. Okay, so we have loaded the two files that we are going to uh, to use to calculate whether uh, a Twitter post is positive or negative. Then R has a very important uh, command called ls that will display for you all the variables. So of course we know what the TMP variable is. We had put our, uh, some 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 Twitter text there, and then we also have this tamini neg and tamini post. Remember we have loaded those two files. So tamini post .rda, its contents have gone to tamini post. Uh, and then, so now, if I want, if I want to check what kind of, uh, uh, I want to check the structure of a of a variable. So you can use the str. So let me just check what is tamini neg. So you can see it's a data frame. So the data type is a data frame. So if you know R, uh, you'll understand what data frame, uh, what data frame does. So if I just want to see the contents, I can just type paste that variable tamini neg. Let me just paste it so that I display to you what, what are the words that we have inside there. So you can see that we have three columns there. Okay. We have the line number. Then we have the word itself. Okay. And then we have something that we use to calculate how negative or positive that uh, particular word is. Okay, so we have done, we've seen how to load your, uh, the two files. So again, uh, if we go continue with the, the file, you can see that we, we, we have loaded the entire Twitter underscore data table into whole data set. And then here we are just checking if the data set has data. If it doesn't have data, we exit from the program. Okay, then uh, also there you can, you delete the retweets. So that the twist is ranked as the original tweet. Okay, then you can also extract the column ID and uh, and so on and so forth. So there are several several things that we can do that this file does. So just go through it one line at a time so that you understand what it does. It's it's important you understand what it does so that you can uh, modify it. So you you see the apply function. Once we have done all this, we'll uh, we'll use the apply function that we had seen previously the one that we were using to clean each tweet okay so it will be applied to and to the entire uh, to to, your, to 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 the entire 
feed that you have uh, downloaded from that that table okay and then once you've done that you'll uh, it will update the table twitter underscore data okay and with the sentiments okay so you can see there positive negative and uh, and neutral And then once it has done the update, it will confirm uh, the update. Okay, so let me just search where this file is used. This variable. Okay, so next I just want to show you how 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 the ranking of the tweets are done okay so we have the apply token function so you can see that the apply token function returns the weight that has uh, that has each term within the matrices okay so remember in that file we had told you that every word has a different weight okay every word has a different weight so you can see that this is how where it's being done So this is where the ranking of every tweet is being done comparing it with the weight of the word from each of those files so for the positive words we have tamini post for the negative words we have the tamini neg and uh, we have already seen uh, the files where those words are so if you're using a different language you can just change those uh, particular two words and then you save them so that was just a brief introduction to R and what it does. So the next, since we know, know everything, let's just do some tests. Again, we go, we'll go through one step at a time. Now, if you go to your Sparkle BI uh, schema, you are going to find this table called Twitter underscore data. So I've now just cleaned up everything so that uh, it, it has a uh, zero, zero rows. So I'm just going to log in to loganalyst.com as a BI admin user. Then I'm just going to do some analysis so that I show you where the data goes and how to run those two uh, scripts. All right. So I'm going to go to social analysis. So you can see that there's really nothing here. So under logical identifier, I want to analyze traffic data. So I'll say traffic. I'll start from uh, one day ago, so it's historical data. So the keywords that I want to analyze are traffic, um, and then I'll also analyze Matatu. So just separate them with the commas. I'll analyze cops, uh, the traffic police. Uh, and then once you've finished, uh, you just let's select or, okay? So I'm not going to select R analysis because I want to do. I want to show you how it how it works. If you don't select R analysis, uh, it will not be enabled. Okay. So the account. Let's just put the account that I want to monitor. So this is at Matri root. I want to analyze the at Matri root. So I think that's it. So now I'll just click on search. So it, it is successful. So you can see now it's grayed out because it's now uh, using uh, the tokens and everything that we had set up. It's going to Twitter now, and then it's going to 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 extract all that information from Twitter, and then it's going to put that information in the Twitter underscore data table. So now if you, if I do a count in the Twitter underscore data table, you can see that it keeps increasing. Okay, it's 257, 384. So it's keep increasing because uh, it's fetching the information from Twitter and then it's inserting it into in, into this table. So if I just do a select star, you can see that uh, all the info, all the tweets are in this table. So you can see that if you analyze a very busy uh, a Twitter handle, your table can really really grow in, in in a matter of minutes. So you really need to know how to uh, manage it because it can become so big that it becomes difficult to, to to analyze okay so you can see that in that few seconds we have 1470 we have 1504 1543 so they keep they keep going okay so let me just check this table so that i can show you how it looks okay 
so this is how the table looks let me just do another account and see uh, let me just do another account so that i can see how much more information have come in so now we are at, we are at 1791 so this what i wanted to show you is a there is a very important uh, column called search id search id so every time you do a fill a search in twitter it will come with a unique id so this is the first search we have done so it has search id one so remember this id is what we are going to use uh, in the sentiment analysis script and topic analysis script this is what will feed those scripts and then when it comes to this table it will know which rows in twitter it needs uh, to check all right Okay, so let me just exit from my SQL. So I just want to show you something else. Uh, I want to show you the logs, the social analysis log. I put it in debug mode. So if you go to uh, logs folder and then you tell social analysis BI, you'll see the tweets as they come. Okay, so just put it in debug so that you can see everything that is happening. So you see the table being inserted into you see which tweet is coming in uh, from Twitter, uh, etc. So if you have any problem, the first thing to do is uh, put social analysis engine into debug mode, uh, check its log, and then you will see uh, what what the problem is. Okay. Okay. So you can see now it's black, which means it has finished. So. I'm going to do another search. You can see it's in black in color, so it has finished. So I can click on analyze button. So click on analyze. So with the total number of tweets are 1781. Total number of users are 1622. Uh, we have the reach there so let me do another search so that we can compare so I'm now I'm going to do uh, a search from our news feed which is KTN uh, I'll just do uh, from one day ago again historical data I'm just going to search for some keywords I can just type them here so I'm going to search for Uhuru so mostly news is about politicians so that's why it keeps uh, it's, 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 it's really very negative So I'm also going to search for Sudan. So once you put the, the text that the keywords you want to analyze, uh, th then you put the account. So th the account here is KTN Kenya. So this is the account that we need to monitor at KTN Kenya. So now I'm going to do our analysis. So I'm going to select our analysis, then I click on search. Okay. So I leave that running again. So remember, you can also do if you don't want historical data, you can also do uh, real time, uh, real real time uh, feed. Okay. So I'll just clear the, the the screen there under the logs, and then I'm going to log into my SQL so that I can show you the uh, uh, the difference. Remember, now we have done uh, another search, so the search ID should uh, now increment by one because now ktn should have the search id too so for every search that you do it's going to uh, have its own search id okay so uh, sorry 
So the table is Twitter underscore data. The database is Spargo BI. So I'm just going to say use Spargo BI, but I, I'm already in under Spargo BI. So let me just describe the table again, Twitter underscore data. So let me just do a count of how much data have come in now that we have done a, a search for two, um, we have done two, two searches now. So now you see that uh, the data keep on increasing, but remember these two feeds are not, does not have as much data as, uh, as, other, uh, as other feeds. Uh, this is because the computer that I'm using cannot handle very large uh, data, okay? So I'm just going to do a distinct count now for the search ID so that you see uh, whether it has incremented now by one. So you can see now we have search ID two, which we remember these IDs as I've said, we use them on uh, on the R scripts. We use them on the R scripts. So there's also another table called uh, Twitter accounts to monitor. So it lists all the accounts that you are uh, monitoring. So if you select star from there, you see that we have uh, uh, number two is uh, at KTN Kenya and number one is at Matri root. It will tell you uh, the followers that you have there and the timestamp. Okay, so every time you do a search, this table also will be populated with the with extra information. So the KTN one is still continuing, so we leave it to run. It uh, it might take a, a while depending on how much uh, data you have. So I'll just exit here. So now that we have finished, let's look at the results of the two feeds that we have done. So if you're following along, please also just, just uh, go to loganalyst.com and uh, follow the steps one by one as we have done. Or if you have installed your own, we, we do we just do the same. So go to social analysis. So let's start with KTN. Click on an analyze. Okay, so what, what I want to show you is that when you go to twist polarity, it has nothing. Also, if you go to sentiment radar, it has nothing. Though, remember, we had clicked on uh, analyze using R. So there is a problem uh, with the, the test that I had done. It, did not, it was not coming automatically. So what, what we'll do, we are going to run the scripts manually, the R scripts manually, because uh, the automated one uh, does not work for now. I'll, I'll search and see why it doesn't work. But uh, we can do it manually. So go to data mining under resources. Go to data mining, and then go to external. So we are going to start with the sentiment analysis Twitter DB dot R. So remember this one is used for the sentiment analysis. So just say R minus F, then the the name of the file, then space, and then put the search ID. So if I just highlight anywhere like network down there, you see that it gives me uh, two as my search ID. Okay. So remember I had explained what search ID is. So if you put that there, you press enter, it will now start doing the analysis. Depending on how much data you have, uh, it might take a while. Okay. So now that it has finished again, if I just refresh this screen, I click on sentiment again, you see that now the tweet polarity is there. So your, your polarity is done. But if you look at the sentiment radar, you see you still have nothing. Again, if you look at your positive topics, neutral topics, and negative topics, you have nothing. So nothing under sentiment analysis and nothing under uh, the topics. This is because we have only run sentiment analysis. For us to have our sentiment radar, we need to run topic modeling uh, R script. So just uh, say R minus F dot slash. Then uh, name of the script. So again, if you don't know what is the cent uh, what is the number you're supposed to do there, just highlight everywhere, anywhere, and it will show you. So again, that will take this takes uh, much much longer. Okay. So once it has finished, if you go to sentiment. Uh, analysis now sentiment radar 
positive topics neutral topics should be uh, uh, populated okay so let me just click on sentiment analysis so now you can see that the sentiment radar has information uh, your positive topics have information neutral topics have information negative topics have information okay so if you if you know how to do it to, to make uh, to make it work uh, automatically kindly let us know so thank you for this video and i will see you in the next video